A very good morning to one and all present here. On behalf of the Department of Civil Engineering, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, it gives me great pleasure to extend to you all a very warm welcome to the second day of the two days SERB sponsored National Conference on Smart and Energy Efficient Construction Materials and Technologies for Sustainable Infrastructure. I call upon Mr. R. Kalivanan, Assistant Professor, to introduce our guest. Good morning all. Uh, I'm feeling delightful to introduce uh, the speaker of the session, uh, Professor T. Palaniswamy. Dr. T. Palaniswamy is uh, currently working as assistant professor in Department of Civil Engineering at National Institute of Technology, Karnataka, Suratkal. And he has published 26 articles in journals and conference proceedings at national and international levels. He has delivered more than 186 keynote lectures in various levels sponsored by AACTE, CSIR, DRDO, and DSE, etc. And he completed 400 projects uh, from DST visa, EPD, and ACTE. At present, uh, one funded project is going on worth of uh, 38 lakhs and uh, for the development of concrete battery. And uh, Sir has registered 14 patents along with uh, co-inventors. And Sir received 17 uh, awards, including the most esteemed award of uh, Vishwakarma Award 2018 by the Planning Commission of India, New Delhi, and Best Faculty Award 2017, and uh, the Bharat Ratna Mother Teresa Award 2014, and also uh, the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Gold Medal Award 2015. And the, the Indian Congress Institute honored him by the award of Outstanding in Congress Engineer Award. And under his supervision, 11 PhD was uh, completed and 6 are pursuing. And his area of research includes the development of sustainable material for structural application and micro of the concrete. Professor T. Balniswamy has uh, 20 plus uh, years of teaching experience and one year of uh, industry experience. And last but not the least, Professor T. Balniswamy also acts as a reviewer for many national and international journals like the International Journal of Silicon Springer and the International Journal of Earth Science and Engineering. Thank you. I kindly call upon Mr. S. Harishwaran, Assistant Professor, to present a memento to our guest. Dr. T. Palmi Sami to take over the session. kind attention to students the video recording is going on so i request you to kindly not interrupt the way of the video recording please don't move around in construction materials and technologies for sustainable infrastructure. My first I submit my sincere thanks and acknowledgement to Dr. Kumudha and the team and the dean directors of uh, this institute and my friend Dr. Uh, Nagesh Swasani from Bangalore, my dear brother of uh, Imla Devi, other faculty members, my dear friends, good morning to all. He is very happy to share with another one and a half hours around the five minutes delay. Uh, my 
car is not working properly, that is the problem. So for that, another one and a first I will take regarding this one. My topic is a prediction of uh, strength of building compo uh, compounds uh, using machine learning technique. So we are civil engineers, so all civil it's right, fine. So we are civil engineers always uh, compare with uh, our uh, computer science people it's right. So all people doing the projects and uh, getting job in machine learning and uh, IT jobs and also. Still we have a lot of opportunity to work on our IT also, it's uh, possible. So slightly I will take this one small light in your heart to regarding that what is a machine learning, what is the opportunities, how this can be applicable for the civil engineering field in particular domain only. Similarly, you can this kind of things is maybe transfer for other field also different field. So first part I will take about that some civil engineering aspects. After that, I slightly move go to the machine learning aspects, then I can compare what is the results is get down from the machine learning as well as our civil engineering core. This to this link, finally we get the result. This is my outline of today's presentation. So right. Now, um, <coughs> right? Okay, sorry. So, we are we are a uh, research group uh, working in the beam column joint. Most of the people know about that. This building, the constructed by means of beam and all. This is beam, my, my assumption is correct. So, this beam, we have the one more column also is there, right? So, during that uh, upper the beam column joint is the big uh, problem. It's easily uh, damaged and also it cannot uh, take load due to the earthquake. So what is that uh, different types of beam column joint? So one is the interior, another one is the exterior, corner, roof interior, roof exterior, roof corner. Now it's okay, fine, good. So now, <coughs> What is the problem? Why I take this means beam column joint? For example, generally if you go to analysis any beam column joint, suppose you can take this joint. This side span is equal to this side span. The moment this opposite direction it's nullified, it's not an issue. Similarly, this side also not an issue. So this is create less problem during the earthquake. Come here. So this side same span, this side also same span for exterior beam column joint, right? These two is nullified. So contract each other, not an issue. But the moment is kept getting down from this direction, this direction is create moment here. So simply you can remove this, remove this, you can simply make it the beam column joint like this. So this is called as exterior beam column joint. This is somewhat problem. Another one is a corner. This also is a moment is not balanced with respect to the moment concept. Other concept also is there. Right? This also is not balanced. But in case of rectangular building under only four members. Right? You think about this one, exterior, intermediate, n number of beam is cross across this length of the hall means more number of exterior joints present in the building. On the roof top corner, this is not an issue when compared to other joints. This also, this also. So, during the earthquake and all, it is a highly vulnerable, it is like exterior beam column joint. Exterior beam column joint. So, why I am speaking exterior beam column joint, beam column joint today means, why what I am, my topic is muscle learning, right? So, why I am speaking about that beam column joint? I will tell you answer another two, one or two slides, okay, right? Fine. This is updates. So you know that um, recently the world uh, faced that uh, Turkey earthquake. So you can see that building failure is right. Uh, this is uh, the same uh, uh, place I took 1994, 1999, 2000, 2008 and 2023. Severe earthquake. So you can see the look of the building. Right? Where it's a column, you can identify it, right? Right? 
I think uh, this is column is my point is correct? These are the column, right? So this is the column, this is column, column, beam or slab, right? You can see column, slab and all those things. Now, you think about this area, that is a junction of, this is the beam, this is the column, right problem. Why it fails? Interact me also not an issue, why it fails? One is I already told is moment. Moment only the problem? Yes, correct. Shear, next. Very good. Tell me next. Moment and shear? Yeah. Axial? Correct, tell me bro. <laughs> Axial load, it's right. Axial load. Then eccentricity. Next. Any other? Yes? Torsion, okay, buckling, next, very important, one, two, two is there. Civil engineering, we are dealing with force, it's right, what are the force? First one is, tension, compression, okay, winding, shear, torsion, this is, all combination available in beam column joint. Tension we have, compression we have, Shear we know, bending we know, even torsion also we know. So that is a small portion, they have the lot of complications. So, for example, you can take you know, one beam, length L, then span is L. What is the bending moment? If it is UDL, it acts at the throat the span, at the mid. -tier. What is the bending moment? Mathematically. Double L square by? Eight. You can easily say, right? Okay, fine. Right? I apply only load in the right portion. What is the bending moment? It's quite difficult to answer my questions, right? Again, you'll go for the draw the bending moment diagram, calculate everything. It's quite difficult, right? This is fine. Outside one load, I can apply one axial load in the beam in this direction. Again, complicated, right? Right? Again, I'll give one couple. I will go out from all. <laughs> right? This is the problem. So, one one variable increases, you have some additional requirement. Simply supported with UDL, I am very comfortable. Of UDL, I need a calculator. Right? I need a calculator. Moment, couple, torsion, tension and all those things, I need some cal computer. Right? See, in addition that, I can add what is the quality of material, grade of material, grade of concrete, everything. I need some specific coding or specific some software you need. You can solve the problem. The complexity is the more. So, what I try to say is, if complexity is more, you need for the some other computing techniques or some other intelligent techniques is required. Then only you can solve the problem. One or two variable you can solve easy. Multi variable is quite difficult. For that, we can link this beam column joint with the machine learning now. This is more number of variable, more number of unknown forces available in the particular joint. And also, different people, different formulae, different uh, assumptions. That also we want to bring in complete on the single basket. That is another problem. For that, we go for this kind of new technology. Now you can see, so this they are not for failure in the beam or column, the beam column joint only problem. You can see this building, you can see the full uh, beam, it's not disturbed, it's right. You can see, yeah. nothing, but junction it's over. Right, this is the problem. Right? Why? The lack of availability of holistic numerical methods and its depth treatment in the standard text. We need some technology for that. So, first you want to understand about the beam column joined during the earthquake, it's right. So, the building like this, shake like this, building is smooth like this, column like this, the column is connected, beam is connected to the column. This moves like this, like this. You can imagine beam only, right? This particular junction, right? 
the earthquake this is the horizontal portion the earthquake comes meets go up then down like this like this so you have some cycle it like affect in that beam column joint so he is liquid here this is the beam column it's right joint junction during this way from left to right it moves like this it moves like this like a k here and there so this is subjected to compression tension also this joint also how that suppose this is a beam no it moves like this so this area compression here tension like this <coughs> tension compression right in addition moment in addition moment it's may be twist in this direction torsion box cell bending lot of things is there is right so we need that joint behavior of beam column joint in the earthquake it looks like this what is the problem joint is rigid rigid is best is flexible is the best ah my dear final friends finally any is there finally at that good right tell me <laughs> rigid is best or flexible is the best as a civil engineering point of view Which one is more best? Simple, na. No? Arbitrary you tell, do go and deep, na. Huh? Rigid. Flexible. Flexible is the best, right? Huh? Oh. And I give this uh, glass, right? Another one side is a concrete for material, uh, make it the building. Which one is best in your point of view? Why? 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 Ah, huh? workable, right? Fine. Glass is a brittle material. Glass is a brittle material, right? What is the problem for us? Immediately, we collapse. It's right. Don't want collapse immediately. But we are talking, speaking about the limit states of collapse, is right? Limit states of collapse, right? The joint is rigid. That is another. problem then sagging moment on one side and hogging moment of on another side beam shows like this hogging sagging the both or in case of static no we are dealing about only the hogging body moment is right double l square by 8 but in subject to cyclic and all hogging and as well as sagging body moment seismic design philosophy of strong column weak beam all of you know it's right what is there Tell me, bro. It's correct. Sorry. Why? Why not? Why not reverse? Yes, yes. Building will collapse. How? Improper load distribution. Improper load distribution. You know, you should know about that. What is the load path? It's right. As engineer, should know about the load path. That is very, very important. right as engineer should know about the load path how it slow transfer that is very very important for example you take this same model right right assume this beam already beam only assume this is a column right suppose the column fail first what will happen all such will fail we are also go wow. right so what is the concept is Beam, beam is a very weak because it's a weak means which one is fail first beam. So beam also flexural member is give small crack first somewhere middle, right? Then the crack may be extended from right and left. Small small crack it will comes. Then the crack is going cross the slab. Then again we can have the crack at the both sides. so you are sitting in the building you feel uh, something will be happen then you plan it right escape from the room fine right you have this much of time it's available now so with this time you can escape somewhere don't rush the staircase is right go for lobby right now then after this this is gives a indication i want to fail so again it escape so you have additional time the column is a stronger than that beam then the load transfers to here then column tends to fail 
So after that, the column loads go into that pudding, pudding failure, and the entire structure will be collapsed. You have this much of time. You make it ulta. This is maybe failed first with the brittle material. Immediately everything collapses. So as a responsibility of civil engineer, we want to save our ourselves, our people. It's right. Then, what is the concept? Why it's happening in the beam column joint? Again, you go for that energy concept, right? So, what is the virtual load? And if I study the mechanism of solids, right? What is that? Tell me mathematically, not an issue. Ah, correct. Internal? Ah, yes, internal? Work done equal to? External, it's correct. Fine. That is a small concept, you can not add an issue. I will open up, then you can pick up. The work done in the form of excessive inelastic deformation. Elastic deformation, you know that. What is inelastic deformation? That is quite difficult. All of you know about that. What is the stress strain bar? Or stress strain behavior of mild steel, hard steel, you know that. HOSD bar. So after the yield point, the graph goes like this. A lot of dancing of the graph. Right? That is an inelastic, that, that, area, that region. So elastic, it's okay, fine. For us, the inelastic quite difficult for us, it's right. For undergraduate level, no need also. The work done in the form of excessive inelastic or plastic irreversible deformation, the plastic hinges by the lateral earthquake forces on account of stored the strain energy due to the lateral stiffness is termed as a seismic dissipation capacities. So the energy stored is maybe coming out down from that. So the how the how the material store the energy. I am not talking about the electrical energy, right? I am talking about that in terms of uh, strain energy, right? Each material we are talking about that. The material is static or dynamic. Suppose take one material, right? this also, this this material is static or dynamic? Static. You look at this metal overall, it's a static, it's right. You go in deep, nano level, micro level, atom level. Static or dynamic? Uh, what, what are the dynamics? How you can say dynamics? It's moving inside or what happened? Stretching, bending, shear, it's right. Already said it's right. Atom level, it's right. Inside is a dynamic. Right? These dynamic forces gain again and again and again is stored. Right? Somebody is hitting you know, is stored in your mind. When our sons put the astral, we do like this only, right? Similarly, the energy is stored inside, then it is come out the, do in the beam column joint. Then the high bending moment in beams result in the high shear demand of the <coughs> joint. Then this is a sway right, sway left. So on, so like that. Now.